people welcome back to global happenings today we're so excited to have you again during the just concluded abc primaries both the senatorial the presidential the governorship and the likes a lot of uh, pdp delegates went home very happy most of them were blessed call it the election largest and you wouldn't be wrong they were blessed with gifts monetary gifts we've seen on uh, social media so many um, dollars pack up just for delegates so that uh, these politicians can get what they want from them now shockingly one of the politicians who is a pdp delegate has spent a whooping sum of his election largest on people you least expected you know most of them use it to buy cars and celebrate and get happy and all of that but you'll be shocked how much this guy realized from um the gift that was given to him financial gifts that was given to him or let me say financial bribes that were given to him and who he spent the money on it's quite interesting to know this and it's a pointer to the fact that nigerian politicians are very rich now uh, before we go into details of the news we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel just hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon and you get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, Tanko Rosie Sabo, a delegate in the People Democratic Party PDP primary election, has reportedly spent about 13 million naira from the election largest on underprivileged persons in the community and payment of examination fees for secondary school students. Hmm. According to him, during the campaign for election as a delegate, he had promised to give back monetary benefits to the community if he was elected to be a delegate. Sabo, who is from the Sangha local government area of the state, said he has given 100,000 naira as logistics to a five-man uh, com committee to go around schools and pay examination fees for underprivileged students. Given full details of payment made, Sabo was said to have given 6.9 million naira to assist 150 orphans and underprivileged people in the community cutting across party lines. Similarly, he said 3.2 million naira was spent on the purchase of 42 customized jerseys, including goalkeeper wears, socks, and tracksuits to promote the game of football among youths in the area. Also, he reportedly gave about 1.3 million naira to PDP Ward executive in Sango local government area. He further spent 700,000 naira to support elders, women, and executive beggars known as Maroka, as well as one Danladi Janda with 100,000 naira. He also disclosed plans to extend the gesture to the youths in Dogun Daji Gam community as well as Samba Boys of Bukana. Sabo said they, they participated in the State Assembly National Assembly Governorship and Presidential Primary of the PDP. According to him, he said, when I was campaigning to be elected delegate, I told my people that whatever I get as monetary benefit from the primaries, I will share with them. So I am just fulfilling the promise I made when I was campaigning to be elected as a delegate for the primary elections. He, however, refused to state how much he received from aspirants seeking his vote in the primaries. Asked how much he made during the primaries, he said, the money you will get depends on your connection with the politicians. I have a lot of mentors and political leaders. These are some that contested for, there are some that contested for House of Assembly, House of Representative, but he couldn't meet after their declaration. He later met in Abuja during the National Convention. There were some that promised me something during the convention. All the monies they gave me for my hotel accommodation and food, I took it back to share with the people as I promised. A Facebook user Isaac 
noted that Honorable Tanko Rosi Sambo campaigned to be elected as a national delegate for PDP convention when where the presidential candidates will be elected in Abuja. He promises people that he will share the bribe money if elected. He was elected and now he's back with the money he got and share it with all his community in Sangha local government area. Out of the money he gave seven million naira alone to the less privileged. He brought he bought clothings for extremely poor people or sick sick in the community. Pay the school fees for student and hospital bills for the sick. He distributed the rest of the money to other support group. Thank you, Tanko, for bringing back your share of the national cake home. Well done, bro. EFC's Economic and Financial Crime Commission should decide whether bribe is good or not. But our own stand, our own stand is: if you steal, please share it with the poor. Whoa! Now this guy did not steal, you know but he honored his word. I, I feel that he's trying to create a track record for himself. Maybe he has political intention, which with time is going to be revealed because imagine this kind of news going round about and tomorrow he will come seeking for political position in, uh, the, in a higher level. For example, if he comes to seek to be a senator or not just a senator or seek to be a governor, whatever position he will be calling for and then uh, he, he will just have to play the record, you know, play the video of what he did when he had promised his people that he will be back, you know, to, to bless their lives. So for me, uh, it's one thing that one must really emulate. But then um, looking at uh, the situation on ground, do you think it was right for politicians to do that? Now, the reason why I feel it was not right, especially uh, considering the current economic situation, is the fact that when they pay delegates like this to vote for them, they must also set up strategy to recoup back that money. And it's not from anywhere. They are just borrowing the society via the delegates that money. You understand? They are just borrowing it because they know immediately they have been elected into the office. Automatically, whatever that is meant for the people, since I blessed them during the time I went into or was seeking for this office, he would take it at least times six times seven of it. You understand? So for me, I consider it to be very wrong, you know, to participate in bribery and corruption during a sensitive period like the elections period where you have to select someone who will be in charge of your destiny for the next four years. I mean, it's unthinkable for people to be doing that. But at the same hand, just like the last speaker, you know, if you listen to the last paragraph, I heard one of his supporters, what he had to say. He said, if since Nigeria has been wrapped around a system where people just can't stop stealing, when they steal, they should remember the poor. They should take it back to their people and share it among their people. That will make a great deal of sense. And that's exactly what Sabo did. Immediately, he got the money. He remembered his promise, went back to his people. And guess what? He didn't celebrate with his rich friend. friends. Neither did he celebrate with those who are capable of getting those things without struggling. He went to the very least in the society, to the very poor, those who do not have anything to offer, those who are financially handicapped, those who have not just, they're not only financially handicapped, but they have financial um, liabilities, you know, which uh, they just need to sort out. Children who have not for once um, been able to uh, have a privilege of paying their fees. He took over all that responsibility. So for me, it's a terms of for this guy and uh, it's a message out to all the other uh, delegates who had an opportunity, you know, to be there and get this money from the politician. They should think back home, at least. Try to see how you can improve someone's life. You can pick two, three, four, five person and just bless their life such that not just like buying food, mat food uh, material and all of that. You can make someone stand, you know. Go to an environment, possibly a school, pay school fees of children, see those who are currently um, looking for money to buy things as uh, mentees of maybe 
tailors and all of that. What you do for them is to make sure you buy them sewing machines and other relevant things that will make them stand. That is how we affect our society. That is why, that is how our light will shine and many will appreciate us and they will queue behind us to do the same thing. Now we have to understand that if you eat your today, your tomorrow cannot be assured. What he has done today is to look into his political career and so mightily so that in the future, uh, when it's time to reap, he won't have to struggle. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't even think about that. What they think are, is the aggrandizement immediately. You know, they give them the money. What they do is the next moment they get the next available flight outside the country with their families, go and enjoy it. Don't forget. Just as Nigerian adage will say, if you chop alone, you will die alone. So that's just the situation, you understand. And um, that's where I like to leave it. What do you think about these um, fresh step? I call it innovative step taken by the PDP delegate. Do you think it's an ideal thing to do? Or it, the, the process through which he got the money is condemnable for that reason. What he did cannot be appreciated. Let's interact in our conversation. Thank you very much.